the Kuhunud represents a colonial past of um, pillaging bloodshed of millions of Indians. And actually, it's hurtful to many Indians around the world and here in the UK that actually it was stolen. It was taken, by, taken from Dilip Singh, who was a 10-year-old boy king, during colonization. And why the British insist on keeping it? Because this is uh, an object that has passed through the hands of multiple peoples, multiple empires throughout history. It, it, if we're talking about ownership, this is something that is highly contested. It's a benign argument. It's a very weak argument. And I think it was a very diplomatic decision by the British government to not have it used in the coronation. Why? Because it sidesteps the argument that actually this diamond does not belong in this country. And why are museums still benefiting from colonization? It's hurtful. Well, it is interesting, though, because the Afghanis might say that they have a claim well, on the Kohinoor diamond. It was, it was found in Indian soil. The Afghanis only had it for 50 years. It was well, founded in Indian soil, and that's the end of the argument. It, it is on display permanently in the Tower of London. So Indians, Indians from so India please, have to come Lurinda, over please from let India me get a point to pay across. to look at their diamond from please their country. Please let me get my point across. From their country. Because if this is to be handed back to India, and again, this is something that will be disputed. It's not the that's end of not the a, argument. That colonizer doesn't get to decide where, where they okay, should go who's, back. Who's the colonizer? The colonizer, here, because, the colonizer is British. Keep going. Give it back to India. I don't see why an Indian child from India has to travel all the way to the but UK to look at it and just pay for it.